Good afternoon everyone, it's Caleb. Welcome back to my channel. I hate to follow up an unboxing video with yet another unboxing video, but I'm back at it with the same kind of content because I'm here in the mailroom and I just received a slip notice that another friend sent me a package and I think I pretty much know whose it is and I might have an inkling of what it might actually be. So I'm going to go look for the package in the cabinets underneath the mailboxes and then I'm going to come back on camera and open up everything in front of you. So here it is. It says that it's from bestbuy.com. So I might actually be wrong and I have no idea at all what this is. Um, but it's definitely from my friend Janice. <laughs> I know now. So without further ado, I'm going to... Uh, so I don't know how to open this. Janice! It's literally glued all the way across here and I have no idea how to open it without destroying it. I mentioned in my last video about how I really, really hate destroying packaging, especially when it's done really neatly, whether it's Christmas wrapping or a box. It looks like I'm just gonna have to do that here. Okay, so I'm an idiot because apparently all I had to do was rip off a little corner out over here and then the rest of it is perforated and I can just hopefully yank it open. Just open it with minimal injuries and like, Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Shit. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have... I, I was... I was just talking to Janice, who is my best friend by the way. We're like brother and sister. <laughs> This is supposed to be a coherent video, but I'm just so shocked because I was I was just complaining to her um, sometime last week or the week before about how the mic stopped working on my headphones, which are Sony. The right ear has been silent for a long time, but not that it really matters because I'm already deaf in my right ear, so I was like, okay, fine. But then the left ear went and I was like, come on, please, Sony, I gotta have one ear working for my music. She bought me Beats headphones! I don't even know how I'm going to be able to repay this. This is exactly what I needed. Just like perfect timing because I was about to ground around for some whatever cash I had left and try to buy myself replacement headphones just because music means so much to me. It really calms me. I really, really need to listen to music when I'm um, driving because it helps me focus and also when I'm working, um, I don't get distracted and it sort of minimizes my dissociative episodes when I'm either trying to sleep in bed at night or I'm trying to just work and grind and pound out an essay. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like smelling it. Holy shit. Oh, whoa. Holy shit. Look at that. This video should be rated teen for <laughs> language. They are so classy. There's this sort of like black velvet, um, effect over here and then in the shiny black plastic you can see the B symbol for beats. So I was just about losing my shit in there in the mailroom and then the department intern came in in the middle of me filming so I had to move, take a deep breath and calm myself off camera. I just thought it would be appropriate that now I'm using them and I just tested the audio on the mic and it is beautiful. It is so so clear. I cannot even begin to express how grateful I am, Janice. It's just, you know me so well. And even the, just the littlest things about me that I mention offhand or that I rant about to you, you remember them. You remember all the details. And so that is definitely one of your best qualities as a best friend. So in the spirit of my previous video where I talked a little bit about how I met um, that other friend, who gifted me some things for Christmas, I thought I would give you a quick history too as well of my friendship with Janice. Janice and I have been um, best friends for I would say about four years now. We both went through the Spanish undergrad and 
master's program back in Albany, New York, which was my alma mater. We met online through a long distance Spanish literature and translation course, which took place the summer before I physically moved from another city to Albany to start my work at SUNY Albany after I transferred there. But we had no idea uh, that we would actually click or that we would actually run into each other again in person in classes in later semesters. A couple months later, we ended up taking a bunch of the same classes for literature, including Caribbean poetry, human rights, Latin American theory and literature, courses like that in general. And we just really clicked because the thing is, in our field in Spanish, whether it be linguistics, because Janice is in linguistics, or literature, which is my subfield, there's a very small minority of Asian presence, especially at the level of academia beyond the bachelor's degree. And so we stuck together, and our joke is always that the instant we saw each other from across the room and we locked eyes and we were both telepathically trying to tell each other, fellow Asian must be friend. <laughs> so we've just been attached at the butt ever since. We started um, going out, having lunch together, um, celebrating our birthdays together. Our time together in person was actually pretty short um, because then she moved to California for work opportunities and I had to move out here to Indiana after finishing my master's. And so we've been long distance best friends for the better part of two years now. It's been a little difficult because hectic work schedules make it challenging for us to get online at the same time. But when we can, we do call each other and we text each other almost every day. And we, I tell her about my students and she tells me about her coworkers and all the fun things that she's been doing in California all the interesting people that she's met and I know that she is one of the few people that I can go to for very genuine and honest advice. She understands me very well as somebody uh, from the second generation in a fellow Asian family and I think that special kind of connection is something so precious that I never want to lose and so this video is just my way of saying Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, Janice. Beyond the things that you've given me materially and the time that you've given me, the places that you've taken me to eat and just talk and bond together, I appreciate the love that you send me every day from a distance. And I really, really appreciate the fact that I can always talk to you about anything and everything. And I hope that I can live up to the high standard of best friendship that you've set for me. And I love you so much. Thank you.